Mike Stevens visits the FollowLink Library to look back on the week that was. It was interesting to say the least. So there we were, caught up in the joys of summer. This hummingbird, Richard Leibert of Eagles Mirror, looked closely at it. The sounds of summer dotted by the color of it here and there. Frank Suponsik at the park on Mont Olivet Road in Wyoming. Color here, there, and everywhere in Bloomsburg from Gretchen Pepe. A red admiral butterfly spotted by Becky Latona. Stephanie Reese found some color at Fountain Springs. And here as well, captured by Karen Finn in South Williamsport. Convol Bulis, a.k.a. non-vining morning glory. A bit of color and beauty from Dave Mulraney in Broadheadsville. But the week that was, went. Jeff Vogt caught proof in Berwick. When the weather guys say dime-sized hail, this is what they mean. And then there was the moon that became an orange ball, the surface of it blurred in Chris Belgio's image from Paxinos. And what of the sun, you ask? Haze from fires out west was passing by, coloring the sun as well as the moon. Linda Reggie saw this in Harvey's Lake. At Riverside, the haze swirling over the sun like a giant cloud, one that Diane Hurley Long captured. Pink was the order of the day over Montrose and Sherry St. Clair captured it. And even sundown allowed for a demonstration of sun colors. Steve Faulkner was in Muncie Valley. On that note, we'll steer back into the ordinary yet extraordinary. Abby Guardino sent this. Have a good day and keep looking for the extraordinary. See you next time in the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens.